So this is a test for nanite foliage in Unreal 5.7 preview. I'm using this tree with 4.2 million triangles. It has no alpha masking, every leaf is individually modeled. And this is a forest I've made. And it's pretty big, pretty big. And there's uh, like 300,000 trees here. And the performance is pretty bad. It's at 16.7 uh, ms. Our base performance without any trees here is around 6.5 ms. So right now this is eating up like 10 ms. Just these trees. Now if we go into preserve area. Trees in at a distance look a lot better. But the GPU time has gone up. And now it's 17.5 ms, so the cost is 11 ms. Now if you go into voxelize, the trees at a distance, I'd say, look better. But most importantly, that is a drastic performance change. Now it's at 10 ms, around 10 ms. So if our base performance is 6.5, then this is uh, this has a cost of 3.5 ms which is really nice because this is uh, all with gi as well lumen gi and virtual shadow maps looks nice i'll show you the performance down here too uh, it's still at 10 ms going to preserve area it jumped up to 15 ms some weird thing going on with the tree lighting. I don't know what that is. Back to voxelize. Looks nice. And if you want to see the shadows for voxel trees at a distance, looks like this. Which is honestly fine. Like you wouldn't notice this if you're like on the ground looks good for voxels at a distance looks really nice too looks like a proper forest mm. it's at 7.6 ms this has barely any cost from this distance 6 ms to 7.5 but with preserve area it would be like 11.5 ms and it looks a bit worse too now I'll show you the overdraw view mode pretty good with voxelize it's really good because if you compare that to preserve area it is a drastic difference that is some rough overdraw. Switch back to voxelize. And damn. That is pretty good. Pretty good. Check with the server here again. It's so good. The nanite foliage is so good. It's really nice. Okay, if you want to turn it on for yourself, uh, just go into project settings, search for nanite foliage, and there is this experimental setting. Turn that on and restart. And then go into your model that you want to voxelize and look for shape preservation and choose voxelize and apply changes alright that's it